Hello, this is David Newman, and you're watching the Orchestral Tools Instrumentation Series. And today we're going to talk about the flute. So a story about the flute that was absolutely revelatory for me. In my 20s, I was working in Hollywood, and I met Jerry Goldsmith. And Jerry loved to teach. He was very giving of his time. And there was, he was teaching a class, and the flute player was playing something of a composer, and the composer was not really happy with it. So Jerry suggested that the flute player just double or triple it. I think they had three, three flute players there, and it completely changed the sound. Um, this was akin to the Mahler Fourth Symphony in the first movement. In the middle of the piece, there is a passage where there's actually four flutes playing in unison. This was a single line that they all played in unison. And I thought to myself, you know, this is really what film music orchestration is about. It's experimenting with different combinations to give something not only unique, but something that is good for the film, because that's what you're there. You're there to help tell the story of the movie. So let's dive into the flute a bit. Many new developments based on early flutes brought us today's most common flute, the concert flute. The body consists of three parts, the head joint with the mouth hole, the middle joint, which is most commonly called the body, and the foot joint. The middle and foot joint include the tone holes and the key work. The sound of the flute is produced not by blowing directly into the flute, but over the mouthpiece. The pitch is controlled by closing or opening holes in the middle and the foot joint. The airstream will be shortened and different notes can then sound. The concert flute and its sibling, the piccolo flute, are the highest common instruments in the symphonic orchestra and often lead the woodwind section within the orchestra as the descant. Because of its great agility and the ability to play very fast passages, the flute is also very well suited for colorizing special passages like cascades, fast runs, as well as highlights such as high trills. As a solo instrument, it is perfectly suited for soft, muted, or mysterious passages, or for playful colors within fast runs, or for illustrating parts via fast movements. The standard range of the concert flute is from C4 to D7, or C3 to D6, after the MIDI definition used in our sampled instruments. The low register brings a warm and soft, sometimes foggy sound, which is often used in solo pieces or smaller ensembles. Producing a high volume is very difficult, so this register should not be counted on to cut through dense orchestrations. In the middle register, the flute provides a clear but not too prominent sound. The upper register provides a light and clear sound, which can be used perfectly to double melody parts along with violins. The very highest notes are quite piercing, and while the volume is quite controllable, this range will always shine through easily.
The vibrato is a slight variation in pitch and or volume, which is produced by movements of the lips, diaphragm, and larynx. It gives the sound an expressive character and a lyric note. By using different syllables or letters like da, ta, k, g, different sounds can be produced on the instrument. The softer the articulated syllable, the softer the attack. The harder, the stronger the tone and the attack. Tonguing can be used in different variations, starting with the single tonguing, where only one syllable is used to produce a note, Double tonguing and triple tonguing open up the possibility to create much faster tone sequences by using two or three syllables, like for example, taka or takt. Besides that, different accents for eighth and sixteenth notes or triplets can be achieved using a certain sequence of syllables. Let's listen to the different techniques. If we are using a rolled R to produce a tone, we get a rapid tremolo, which is called flutter tonguing. A trill is produced by playing a very fast half tone or whole tone. Depending on the range they are played, the flute is perfectly suited to use this technique. Trills between larger intervals, like thirds or fourths, are called tremolo. Due to the wider range, the tremolo transports more tonal information than the trill. So thanks for watching, and please stay tuned for more episodes.